Hi guys, Troy at The Full Setup, back with another video for you. Now in today's video, I will be reviewing the Deepcool Captain EX240 RGB White Edition AIO Cooler. The cooler is also available in black with sizes ranging from 120 all the way up to triple fan 360 radiators. As well as a product overview, I will be showing full installation of the cooler, RGB options and lighting effects, Ryzen 2600 stress temperatures and some gaming tests thrown in too. I also have a full unboxing of this cooler and you can find a link for the video in the description. Now the first thing you'll notice is this is one seriously good looking AIO cooler. The almost all white finish is perfect for RGB setups as the cooler will reflect all your multicolour lighting and the pump block combo looks fantastic and is a nice change from the standard hockey puck style that most AIOs seem to feature. One serious plus for me is that it has no branding on the top, meaning you can mount it in any orientation without having a sideways or upside down logo. As someone that's a sucker for a splash of white in my build, I personally believe this is currently the best looking AIO on the market. As already mentioned, this is a 240 by 120 radiator with the AIO standard aluminium build and 25 millimeter thickness, the two included 120 fans also follow a black and white theme and look fantastic. But looks to one side, they have an operational range of 500 to 1800 RPM. I found from 1100 and under they are virtually silent. From 1100 to 1400 they are audible but very quiet. And from 1400 to 1800 RPM they get a little noisy but there's, you know, no nasty coil whines. I only have two complaints about the fans. Firstly, the braided PWM cables are a little short, but this is easily resolved as Deepcool include a four fan splitter and a PWM extension cable, which is a really nice touch. Moving on to the Captain showpiece, that RGB pump combo. Again, this really is a thing of beauty and I love the matte white finish with the pulsating RGB lights. Pump hooks up to your motherboard via a 3 pin fan connector and runs at a max 2100 RPM and has a rated life of 120,000 hours. Throughout my time with this cooler, I have never once noticed the pump noise, so good work, deep cool. If I had to make some points that I do not like about the pump, it would be the tube length and its flexibility. As a system builder of mostly mid towers, I don't like coolers with seriously long tubing. I'm looking at UNZXT, but the tubes on these are a little short. They fit perfectly fine in my Corsair 600C and Fantex P400, but due to the connection design, you'll be limited to what orientations you can mount your pump. That being said, it looks fantastic in both cases, but if you have a full tower, I would make sure your case has enough space for top radiator mounting. Moving on to RGB options, as well as the RGB pump, you also get an included RGB lighting strip. You have two options for controlling the effects. You can use the included controller that hooks up to a spare SATA power connection on your power supply. The controller has options for different lighting effects, speed and brightness. If you want to see the controller in more detail, I've included some of my other deep call videos in the description. The second option, which is the option I use, is by using the included motherboard sync cable. And yes, before you ask, if you have a 4-pin RGB connector on your motherboard, the cooler is fully compatible with your motherboard's RGB software. The Deepcool Captain comes with plenty of mounting gear with a wide range of support for both Intel and AMD. And yes, it's AM4 ready. The backplate is used for both Intel and AMD installations. Start by inserting the four long screws into the holes that are for your socket type. Use the four larger round bolts to secure the backplate to your motherboard. Now line up the mounting bars and secure with the four smaller round bolts. You only want to finger tighten the mounting bracket. You may need a screwdriver to mount the cooler, but again, do not over tighten. Okay, over to the benchmarks. Now you may have noticed I didn't add any thermal paste as the CPU block has pre-applied thermal paste. But for the following benchmarks, I'll be using the same Arctic MX4 I use for all of my benchmarks. I'm testing with the Ryzen Balance power plan today. As for fan profiles, I'm using the Asus Turbo profile throughout. It's often my fan profile of choice as it offers quiet operation for daily tasks and a nice fan bump when gaming or editing. For stock settings, we have an idle temperature of 30 and after half an hour of Prime 95, we have a super cool 53 degrees. Although Ryzen 2 at stock runs at much lower voltages than last gen, 
pushing past 4 gigahertz at a lot of heat. At 4.2 gigahertz with a v-core of 1.43 volts, we have an idle temp of 41 and after 30 minutes of prime 95, we have a max temp of 75 degrees. Boring graphs to one side, let's take the battle to Amiens with some 64 player operations. We're also running with a stock 1060 at 1440p resolutions. With the CPU at stock and overclocked, my rig barely made a sound when gaming, but some of that might come down to my full metal Fantex P400 silent case. At stock CPU settings, the deep cool captain barely breaks a sweat and stays at the mid 40s throughout. Moving on to 4.2 gigahertz, and again, the temps certainly do jump up after pushing a max overclock on this six core CPU. But for the most of my gaming, the temps stay between the high 50s and low 60s, which is a great temp for a CPU drawing over 1.4 volts. So there is the review of the Deep Cool Captain EX RGB and White. I must say I'm thoroughly impressed with this cooler. It's by no means the best performing 240 AIO on the market, but it's perfect for anyone who wants to get into some overclocking, but also wants a quiet PC. I stand by what I said at the beginning of the video. For someone that builds mostly in mid tower cases and loves a splash of white, this is the perfect cooler for me. But that's my opinion. I'm really interested on your thoughts. Is this dazzling white RGB AIO cooler the cooler of your dreams or have you got your heart set on something else? Let me know in the comment section. Anyway, that's it from me today. If you like the video, leave a like. If you dislike the video, leave the dislike. And if you really like the video, please make sure you subscribe. I'll be back with some new videos real soon.